Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Well, it looks like Team Algeri and myself are not the only ones that believes that Chris Algeri has a very good chance of pulling off the upset against Manny Pacquiao. Now added to that list is one time Keith Thurman. And I'm sure the closer we get to the fight, we'll see a lot of other fighters and trainers that will pretty much come out and give Chris Algieri a very good chance to win this fight as well. Some will most likely just flat out pick Chris Algieri to win this fight. But this is what I do. I report the boxing news, especially on the biggest fights of the year. And this is one of those fights that could really change everything as far as the welterweight division goes and the May Mayweather Manny Pacquiao situation, right? So anyway, this is what Keith Thurman had to say. He has a height advantage. I believe he has a reach advantage. The kid showed decent skills. I don't think he's unbeatable by any means, but he's got some talent and he's made it to the world-class stage. If he keeps training like a champion, he may stay a champion. It is obvious that Manny is favored. We saw what happened with Provodnikov's power punching. So you would assume that Manny's power punching would be just as effective. And then Manny's speed would make it more difficult for Algeri. And most likely, it's going to allow Manny to land more power punches than Provodnikov was able to do when he fought Algeri. It's not one that people aren't really super eager to see or really talk about, but it's a match nonetheless, and there's a potential upset once again. He did it once. Can he do it twice? End quote. So Keith Thurman believes the biggest factor in this fight will possibly be Chris Algieri's height and reach. And if you look at this picture, I think almost all of us can agree on that, right? That's pretty damn obvious, especially when, once again, you think about the fact that Chris Algieri is not that much of an inside fighter. I mean, he could fight on the inside, but his keys to victory is going to be the outside game, right? Now, what's so interesting about this is Manny Pacquiao also agrees with this. Because right after I read this article, there was another article that had just posted, and the headline read, Manny Pacquiao is concerned with Chris Algieri's height and reach. After standing face to face with Chris Algieri, here's what Pacquiao had to say. Quote, he can box. I'm not saying he's really good, but he's not bad. He's okay. The biggest challenge for me is to fight another tall guy. I have to use my speed and footwork for this fight. I saw his fight with Ruslan. He took a lot of bad punches from Ruslan, but he's tough. End quote. You know, when I read this, the first thing I start to think to myself is maybe, just maybe, Manny Pacquiao didn't realize how tall this guy was. Because, and I know it sounds crazy because he, he watched the Chris Algieri versus Ruse and Provodnik fight, but to hear him say this after he meets him in person, it just makes me think that he probably said, wow, things are a lot different when I'm standing right next to this guy. At least, you know, that's the assumption that I'm getting. I could be wrong. But, you know, the timing of him talking about Chris Algieri's height and reach possibly posing a problem, it just seems to me, you know, like he didn't expect this guy to be as tall as he is. Now, I'll be talking a lot about this fight for the weeks and months to come because this is one of the biggest fights and one of the most important fights of the year. But I will say this. If Manny Pacquiao could possibly overcome Chris Algieri's height advantage, especially if Chris comes out and starts to give Manny Pacquiao some problems, and if Manny can surprise everyone in a jest and start to take over and dominate Chris Algieri, that would be very impressive. Okay? I would be very impressed if he could do that. So that's pretty much all I got on this one, guys. I'm on to the next one.